Yo, what's up? Hey, bro, how you been? You know, how, how have you been? You know what I'm saying? Because it's been like a minute since we had like, you know, like a one-on-one -on -one with each other. And before I get into this video, I want to talk to you guys for one quick second. Okay, so I've created a Twitch, okay? I finally created a Twitch. I finally did it. It took me a minute to get everything set up because either like the mic wasn't good, the camera quality wasn't good, you know what I'm saying? Or like there was just a lot of bugs. So I am now comfortable saying... Follow me on Twitch. So if you guys have a Twitch, have a few minutes on your hand, go ahead, check me out, KT Fox. I'll put all the details in the description. Don't be afraid to come along. You guys can ask me questions. You guys can talk to me about whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm there to talk to you guys and entertain you guys live. But on to this video. So I was on TikTok, right? You know, just doing my casual scrolling and like I saw this video. Let's go. So, you know, I didn't really think much of it, you know, I thought it was a cute little anime girl, you know, she dances to the music and all that kind of stuff, you know, cool. I really like the visuals and the animation and everything, so, you know, I decided to go check out her channel. And she's popping, bro, like, she has almost, like, 3 million followers. She gets millions of likes on all of her videos, she gets millions of views on all her videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's popping, she is it, my guy. And I like the content, you know what I'm saying? I like the dancing, I like, you know, I like watching it. So, I decided to go out and check out the comments to see if everybody else was, you know, feeling the same energy. I want to make sure nobody was hating on my newfound waifu, you feel me? And I don't know where I found it at, but I came across this one comment where it's like, shout out to everybody who knows her from YouTube. And I'm like, huh? Nani? So I decided to go and check out her YouTube channel, and bro, I'm sleep, bro. I'm s bro. She almost has 3 million subscribers on YouTube. And she isn't the only one. Apparently, there is a whole community of YouTubers that are all AI. VTubers. Virtual reality YouTubers. And I'm just like... How did I miss this? Because again, I am a man of culture. And I'm not saying like, you know, I know everything about weeb culture, you know what I'm saying? I don't know every single detail, but I at least like to have like an inclination of things. You feel me? And I had no idea this stuff was a thing. Because imagine how I feel seeing that anime is merging with reality. Like, bro, what is happening? But here's how it works. So basically, a company creates this AI and like you download this software or something like that and like you get to control what the AI does. Do like, I guess, some like sensing patterns and all that kind of stuff. So if you move your hand, the AI will move their hand, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I was checking out VTuber content and I don't know if it's just me, like maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I was very, very entertained by these videos. Like they weren't doing anything crazy or anything like like, you know going above and beyond but just seeing like the way they interact and just seeing how they move and everything like I don't know maybe I'm just easily entertained like I was watching this one video where a VTuber was learning English slang and so they're like on Twitch or something like that where like you chat and you can talk to them and so the people were trying to explain to her what yeet means you know and I was very entertained okay like I was entertained all right I will play you guys a quick snippet of it what みたいな感じ興奮あ、興奮するとき。イエーイみたいな感じ?の?難しいな。待って、わかんなくなっちゃった。投げるときに?なるほどね。あ、掛け声なんだ。うーん。えっと。えっと。えっと。Like, yes, bro, yes, this is the kind of content I like to see. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's like the weeb in me is coming out and I'm just happy to see that it's like reality and anime mixing together. Like, I'm seeing my waifus talking to me and all that kind of stuff or whatever. But I'm enjoying this. Like, here's a quick clip of a VTuber, like, vibing to, like, the Super Mario Sunshine soundtrack. And, like, bro, I'm entertained. Stop! Golden content, my guy. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. And like I know, I already know my mom is probably watching this right now. And like, um, that's the kind of content you like. And yes, mom, this is what I like. This is what your son likes. <laughs> Like, it's not something I'd watch every day, but I definitely would sit there and, like, binge a lot of videos. But, like, here's the thing. I'm not sure if I completely 100% am down for this content. Because, yeah, it's entertaining, but, like, reality can hit you, like, out of nowhere. Because imagine this. You're chilling there. You're watching your waifu learn what it means to send somebody to the gulag. And then, 
a glitch in the system, a technical difficulty. So now you've come to the realization that a man, or at least in that situation, was doing the cute poses and everything, like they're talking all cute and everything, like that was all a man, that wasn't the girl. Let that sink in. Now this may not bother some of you guys, you know, some of you guys can like separate the character from their work or whatever like that, but I'm hurt. Like I would be in legit pain. My waifu was a man doing, like bro, I'm, I can't watch this no more. And so like I get it, you know, like I'm not delusional, I know, you know, it's not real. I know that the people are doing it, but like it's not something you really think about like it's pushing in the back of your brain You're just enjoying you're just watching your wife do her thing like the first voice actor for Kizzy and I or whatever She was like, you know a pretty cute woman and everything and so I'm pretty sure some vtubers like they're cute behind the scenes and everything too But you never know and that's what I'm afraid of and I know you guys are thinking again an anime girl You know could be drawn produced and everything by an all-male company or whatever and they found a voice actress You know to speak for her and everything but like it's just different I don't know how to explain that like that is different from the man being the girl. And I guess it's because, again, like, the VTuber is more in touch with reality than the anime chick. It's like, you know, I think of her as more realistic than the anime girl. You feel me? Does, am I making sense? With the VTuber, I feel catfished, okay? That's, bro, let me have it. But like I said, man, I could be weird, okay? I could just be weird. However, it is true that AI is definitely becoming a thing, okay? Because aside from the VTubers, there are also AI, like, girls who have their own Instagram. You know, they're, like, digitally editing them in photos and all that kind of stuff, taking pictures with people, and they're actually getting sponsored by, you know, clothing brands. So, this is becoming a thing, okay? This is becoming a thing, and I'm just glad that I now know that it's gonna become a thing, because this is the future. I'm just waiting for them to release nerve gear so I can hop into SAO. That's all I'm saying, bro Because let me tell you if I was in sword art online everybody's getting wrecked, okay? Everybody's getting wrecked once I get the two so Ooh! Dual building KT you can't stop that bro